Hey everyone, it's Rendon with TJ Free. In this video, I'm going to show you a free alternative to Zoom conferencing or other video call conferencing software. It's called Jitsi. You can do a search for it, it's J-I-T-S-I, -I. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's jitsi.org, I'll include a link in the description of this video. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to get started doing your own video call. Um, you, you can just click right here on start a meeting. You can also download the software um, and run this server on your own server or on your own computer privately. Um, or you can just use their server and it's also free. So to do this, um, they have a Chrome extension you could install. They recommend using Google Chrome. Um, I'm using uh, the Brave browser, which is based on Chrome. Then you need to type in a room. I did one called Rendon Special Meeting, one called My Test Room TJ Free. We can call this one TJ Freeze underscore meeting and then click go. And then anyone that also comes to this website, jitsi.org, and joins the room and types in TJ Freeze underscore meeting will join this room. Uh, I just need to click my camera right here so we can see my camera. And there we go. So I have my camera, I'm in the room, and I'm just going to call by myself. But if I want to add someone else and invite someone to this call, I can just click this information, this little eye circle here, and this is the link to the meeting. So it's just called meet.jit.si uh, slash tjfreeze underscore meeting. Right now there's no password. So if I want to set a password, which it's probably a good idea to do if you're doing like a private meeting or you don't want people just popping in, um, you just click add password. Then you type in the password. So we'll call it test123 for the password and then hit enter. And now we have a password. So now when people go to visit this, uh, they can just, we can highlight it and then we can email it to someone. They would just go to their web browser, right click and go paste and paste that URL and hit enter. And it takes them to that meeting. And then it asks for the password. And then you type in the password, which we set as test one, two, three. Then they'll be able to join. I'm not gonna do it now because it'd probably be some kind of a loop with my video. But there is also an app uh, for Android that you can download and install. And then you just type in the name of the room. And so I can just type in this room if I wanted to join real quick here. What did I say it was? Uh, TJ Freeze underscore meeting. So I type that in there. And I'll just hit create and join. And I don't have great internet here, so it's probably going to, maybe I'm going to have some trouble. Uh, oh, and then it asks for the password. So I put in the password, which is that test123. And now I am in the, uh, should be in the room pretty soon. I hit okay there we go great so now it's joining i'm gonna have a loop because i have multiple audio and i can't see myself there but i can see here really good see that so anyway um i'm gonna hang this up so i don't get that loop back you can you can do a lot of cool things with this so in the next video i'm actually going to get some people in here and kind of stage a call we'll use the features like raising your hand uh, there's all kinds of different things you can do, like share your screen, you can record the conference, you can stream to YouTube, um, so and you can like mute speakers and kind of control how it looks. So, uh, but yeah, but for now I just want to show you this is a great alternative, and then I'm also going to make another video showing how you can use this service to host your own server. So right now we're using, it's a company called 8x8, I think, they're the one hosting this server, so we're actually sending our video and audio to them, then they're packaging all the participants together and then restreaming it out to everyone. But you can act as that server because this is different from uh, something like Zoom, where this is open source software. So you can download it, you can download it, you can modify it, you can change it. And um, but it has all the same features and functionality as Zoom. It's just respects your freedom a little bit more and gives you more options. So hopefully you like this video. Leave your questions in the comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.